Hi, this is Info Puppet, and today I want to go over some features on how to use the Droid X, the Razor, the Bionic, the Droid X2, the Droid 3, and the Droid Pro. So the first thing I want to start out with is selecting the apps icon, which is in the lower right hand corner of the screen. It's a triangle inside of a circle inside of a square. Let's push that with our finger, boom, and here are our apps. Now the next thing I want to do is show you how to take an app that you use a lot and put it on your home screen. Let's say you use the gallery a lot, so select that and hold, and now push on add to home, and now you're going to keep your finger on the screen, and you can move it around, and wherever you want to leave it on your home screen, you'll take your finger off the screen. I like it right over here. Now I'll take my finger off, and there's my gallery on my home screen. Now let's go ahead and click on gallery, and now let's talk about how to send an image to one of your friends. Alright, so I'll click on camera roll, and, uh, well, I'm going to have to turn my phone so I can see these better. Okay, and now let's say I want to send this cock to my worker and say, this is the cock I want you to use on this house. So, I'm going to click on the image, and then I'll click on share, and now I can send it a lot of different ways with, uh, email, gmail, there's a lot of different options here, but I find the easiest and the quickest one is right down here through text messaging. So, I'm going to select text messaging and now it says my picture's too large and I'm going to go ahead and click on resize or select resize and now it's resizing my picture then I'll click in the two window and it'll come up with you know the numbers here and I'm going to put in some numbers five 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 of course you'll put the actual number in and then set select um okay or next and then I'm going to select send and that's it that's all there is to it Okay, and now let's go ahead and I'll show you some crazy things that drives me crazy about these sharing images. So let's go ahead and again cl click on the camera roll. Now when you're looking at your phone in this position, you can share these little thumbnails. Click on it and there you see the share. And I can go ahead and sh click on share and then text message. That works. But here's what really gets to me guys. If you're looking at full images like this. Or maybe this one, or that one, or this, or this one, or this one. You can't get the share window to pop up. You can't share them when you're looking at them in full style, okay? So only in thumbnails or when you're scrolling. All right, let's look at the alarm and timer feature that comes stock in your phones. And I'm going to go click on timer right now. I love this timer. So uh, up here in the upper right-hand corner, we'll click on timer. And it's defaulted at 30 minutes. Now you can make it longer, you can click on the plus sign here, if you want to make it an hour and 30, you'd move over and click the hours. I'm going to bring it back down to 30 minutes right now. And to start it, I'm just going to click on the start button. And this is great, I mean, if you're cooking and you need to, you know it's done in 30 minutes, a lot of times you don't hear a timer go off because you're somewhere else in the house. Now if you have it on your phone and your phone's with you, you'll always hear your timer off. Okay, so now let's look at the alarm. Okay, with the alarm, I'm going to change this 801 alarm. Oh, what is all this? It's confusing. Well, first of all, I don't like to vibrate on my alarm, so I'll take that off. I can click on sound if I want to and select ringtones or MP3 or video or vibrate only to wake me up, but I'll just leave it where it is. Now, on the time, I don't want to wake up at 801. I want to wake up at 601. I want to get in early and get a lot of work done and surprise my boss. Not really. That's why I clicked on cancel. But you would select set if that's what you wanted. And then you'd go down here to the bottom and select done. Okay. And uh, that just told me how many minutes my alarm's going to be going off from right now. If you want to put uh, uh, change your background on your screen, you'd click on the screen and hold it. And then select wallpaper. And then you just select what wallpaper you want. And then hit set wallpaper. Boom! And you got new wallpaper. It's that simple. Hope this helped you. Those are some basic features. Check out my next video for intermediate features. Thank you again from Info Puppet.